What's up guys, it's TJ Rogers, and uh, here's my setup. Just about to set up a new Christmas complete real quick. I'm skating in 825 blind skateboards. 14 inch wheelbase, 31.4 long. Been skating this shape for about three years now. It's like one of my newer graphics that's about to come out. Corey Shepard did this graphic actually for us. It's really sick, the whole series is gonna be tight when it fully comes out. And uh, skating the Tensors 5.5, also my new signature truck that's about to come out as well. Super good truck as well, they're super light. Turn the best, they're just really good. Then I got uh, these Bones wheels, my signature wheel as well. It's 52 millimeter V3 shape, pretty good. STFs, you already know they're the best. Obviously got those Swiss for those too. Got the Grizzly Grip Tape, Felipe Gustavo signature. Major shout outs to Felipe. <laughs> and then uh, obviously got the Helitai Hardware Diamond. You already know. Let's get this going. It's a beautiful day out here in Huntington Beach, California. It's super hot though. For this late in October it is. Yeah, Santa Ana winds are coming in hot, dude. I like how this grip tape too comes in like sheets so you can like kind of put the bear wherever you want, you know? Yeah. It's like you can get all creative with it and put it wherever. I like to put it on the tail though. Just so it kind of pops out where I know it's exactly my tail. That's definitely unique. Yeah, it's something different, you know? Like usually they have it like either up here on the top, but kind of like in having it on the tail for some reason, I don't know. Have the I goofy just, and the regular version. Yeah, it's good, you know, I like it. It's something different. Trying to have fun with it. Oh yeah, dude. Sk skateboarding's creative, you know? You try to be as creative as possible and it's always good. I feel like sometimes you get older, you start to forget that. Totally, yeah, definitely. But I mean, it's cool. I'm hyped. It's always good times out here, you know? Yeah, dude, I'm stoked. I'm gonna go, oh. Oh damn, what was that? There's was like five jets, huh? I wish, I wish we could have shown you guys that. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, was I couldn't even loud. recognize what those were either. Yeah, they look like some kind of like US Navy type stuff. I don't know, that's crazy. That was the first time I saw some jets when we were shooting a video. I was actually hyped. Really? Yeah, right? <laughs> Normally I'm like, go away. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't mind them. You can come back anytime, but... <laughs> So, so sick. You always skate the boards with the, uh, what's this called again? Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you guys about that. So I got uh, these boards that Blind makes. Um, it's actually all through Dwindle Distribution. They have like these boards called Impact Plus. Impact Plus. That's and it it's is. pretty much what it is. It's like a strip of carbon fiber on your board there. And then you have the discs as well on the bottom side. So it's actually stronger and you know, if, you can't break your board as easy, and even if you do break it, it'll never come in half. So even if you got to skate home after you break your board at a sesh, like you can still ride the board home, which Damn. is pretty tight, you know? That's super tight. It's, it's really good, and it's like they last longer, they're stronger, and I don't know, they're just really good. That's for I've been sick. skating these for a while, they're just, yeah, they're really tight. Yeah, I think when I shot this with Romar too, he also only skates those. Yeah, I think, I think all the Dwindle riders, they just get these boards because um, what the luxury of Dwindle having, they have this, uh, they have like the heat transfers machine at the warehouse, so yeah. you can just put any graphic on the board, so they just order us our own shapes and our own boards and kind of do it that way. That's so like, rad. Yeah, it's That's really way sick. more convenient. Oh, totally. Everyone else has got to get on Dwindle's tip, you know? <laughs> Seriously. Smart. I've actually noticed, uh, I'm not going to say board company names, but I've seen other board brands that aren't even affiliated with Dwindle getting their board screen there with these impact boards for their riders. Oh. Which is pretty crazy. You yeah, know? I, no, I've heard, I, I've, I know of like some legendary skaters yeah. who will only skate Dwindle boards. Exactly. And I can't say names either, but yeah. I know about it. Yeah, yeah it's kind of crazy, but I mean, Clearly, Dwindle knows what they're doing, and they're making yeah. the best quality boards. They're Not good a lot of boards, people know, dude. but they're definitely on point with their stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh, some of my best skating ever done was on blind boards and uh, world yeah. boards back in the day. That's sick. A lot of my best footage, actually. It was kind of crazy now to think about that. Yeah, right? I don't know. I just, ever since I kind of got on blind, I've literally never been able to, like, switch. And I, even though I wouldn't want to, you know, like, yeah. they just got the best quality boards, 
Bill Weiss is the sickest TM. So I just like, I don't know, I couldn't ask for a happier home, you know? Yeah, OG Weiss, dude. Yeah, making 540s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sick. He's such a rad dude to work with, too. It's a crazy little knife. I got this at like a swap meet for like 50 cents. Yeah, it's a paint stripper, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. It's That's pretty cool sick, though. though. The grip is perfect. Yeah, I mean, and it's safe too. You can put the blade away and keep it in your car. So if like you went to go in your toolbox, you don't slice your hand yeah. open. I'm always scared of that, dude. Yeah, it's sketchy, but it's always good times. One of the risks of skating. Yeah, pretty much. Here they come again, dude. Dude, Let's they're fucking... booking. Whoa, only one that time. No, the other one just passed. Yeah, I'll try and zoom in so you guys can see these. I've never seen jets like that. Yeah, I wonder what they're doing. Maybe like an air show near the water or something. Yeah. I've seen those in Canada actually where they do that and like they come in hot and like they kind of go in like different formations. I've never stuff. I've never seen one of those. Really? Yeah. They're sick, man. Seems like I don't know be. if they're like the same as the ones that I've seen before, but they look pretty rad. They're really loud, too. Yeah, I don't know how you guys can grip your boards without sanding the edge, dude. It trips me out. Oh, I mean, I do sometimes. I used to do it a lot uh, when I had like other grip tape, like Jess up or certain things because yeah. it wouldn't stick properly. But with the Grizzly, it sticks because there's four sheets that it's just easier to cut like that. And then I sand it after. Yeah. I like the bear on the tail, man. That right? looks dope. It looks sick like that. That's yeah, You know, it's my own unique thing. Another one, dude. Allen or? Allen key, of course. Yeah. I can't screw with those Phillips hardware. They always strip so yes. much easier. <laughs> Every time. I actually haven't skated Phillips hardware in years because I've been riding for Diamond for almost like eight years now, I think. Oh, damn. I got on at uh, Phoenix Amp 2008 when Joey Surreal was the TM back in the day. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, he I was remember the that. man, dude. He's super sick. Yeah, Joey's OG. Yeah, dude. I he got ever... pretty close with him because I was on flow for City Stars for a long time. No way. Yeah, so I was like That's really right. close to Joey. Yeah, made a shout out to Joey if he sees this. What's up, bud? Hope all is well. <laughs> yeah, Joey's a man. I still follow him on Insta. I do too. Yeah, he's, he's like cool really dude. into like his his kid and his basketball games and yeah, stuff. Yeah, dude. It's dope. He's uh super into like um God and all that stuff too. It's yeah. Pretty rad. Like hearing like his like perception or perspective on it too. You know. Oh yeah. It's super cool. It is. Cheer. Always got to have the gold hardware in the top bottom top left. That's where you put yours? Always. I think mine's in the, the top right. Yeah? Yeah. You skate rags or goofy? Uh, goofy. Yeah, see that's the reason you, yours is on the right because it's like closer to you on that side, you know, where yeah. your flip, kick flip is. Oh, that makes sense. For me, it's like I have it on that side, so like I know where to put my foot for like a kick flip position sometimes. Yeah. I like to do kick flips super wide, so. I feel you. I like the gold one better. Yeah, I get that. Uh, Felix or someone send me some new stuff. Yeah, right? Seriously. <laughs> Felix is so tight. He is, dude. Have you skated his house yet? No. It's pretty dope. He has yeah. like a box and a flat bar and like all this sick crap in there. Oh, really? Yeah, it's fun. I didn't know that. Damn, today would, would have been a dope day to go there because it's so hot. Where is, where is he? It's based? right in downtown. Oh, really? Yeah, Damn. it's rad. I'm down to go there sometime. Yeah, it's fun, dude. Have On a hot day or just some day you don't have nothing to do, just cruise, hang out with Felix. Yeah. Like, I haven't been, I haven't seen Felix in so long, actually. Really? The last time I seen him was at Street League, but I briefly seen him. I just said, what up? Just real, real quick. quick. What's yeah. up, dude? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a cool dude, though. Yeah, he's one of my favorite people to hang out with, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's been around the industry for so long too, so. Dude, I, I really feel like he's helped teach a lot of us like how to like take care of ourselves once we get older, you know? Yeah. I feel like Longevity noticing him, in, you know? yeah, like noticing him and how well he's done, it's definitely made me focus on eating better, exercising, yeah. you know? All like, those motivational talks on his Insta. Oh yeah, dude. I see those too. Yeah, I time. appreciate, I appreciate that dude a lot, man. Yeah. For sure. I mean, he's just been around. He knows like everything, you know. How skating like kind of flows, you know. Yeah, he's such a cool dude. Damn, damn, these are pretty light. Dude, yeah, they're super light. That's dope. Dude, these trucks have come such a long way. 
I know, right? With with the plastic base plate. Before. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Rodney's in I think he's Rodney still skates them with the plastic. Really? Yeah, I think they make them Damn. specifically for him like that because he's just so used to it. Hey, he deserves he likes, that. Yeah. He, gets, he should get whatever he wants. Right? He, he <laughs> likes that, uh, like the dimension. Because actually, Tensor's been like working on a whole new development where like they, uh, like the aluminum is like more stronger because yeah. before they used to bend a little bit mm -hmm. and they would break but now like I've been riding these new prototypes and they've been coming they've been getting a lot better like, they're they solid break. yeah they won't break they won't bend really they're just really good it's such a ill colorway dude ha, is thanks. that a dinosaur or a dragon on there uh, I think it's a wolf to be honest oh yeah, oh like, yeah it's like okay a wolf okay I could see that I could see that thing, yeah, yeah. Damn, double polygraph. Yup. That's pretty trippy. Yeah, I think I think they both come out at the same time to kind of have like a matching kit. Almost, yeah. You know? That's gangster. Yeah, I was hyped on it, how it came out. What projects am I working on right now? Yeah. Um, I'm working on, actually, uh, I'm having a Red Bull part come out soon, hopefully within the next few months. I filmed a, a full part in Toronto over the summer. Yeah. And I'm trying to make that drop by the end of the year, kind of have like a summer 16 part, you know? Damn, out dope. In Toronto. Uh, that as well as, um, I know that it's been in the speakings of where uh, Blind might be making another full, not full length video, but another video to drop with all the ad campaigns at the end of the year next year cool so 2017 2017 yeah word i think it's gonna drop in like november or something like that so should be sick i'm pretty excited for it hell yeah dude got a full year to kind of film for it and we only wants a video to be about like 10 minutes long so you know we don't have short to film. and sweet yeah we don't have to film too much stuff but everything that we do film has to you know be some good stuff yeah keep it legit yeah how often do you actually set up new completes? New completes? Yeah. Um, just depends, really. I'd like to say at least once a month, almost. Once a month? Yeah. Damn. I'd like to say, like once a you month. You skate so. super hard, though, because you do jump off some big old stuff, so I could see you bending and breaking stuff a lot quicker than a lot of skaters. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why I've been working so much with, like, Tensor and trying to get their trucks better. Yeah. Sorry for the Jets, guys. <laughs> so you're really into wolves? Yeah, I'm super into wolves, man. I uh, I actually stayed at a zoo about four years ago, like overnight on New Year's. What? And uh, there was like seven wolves, and there it was like a full moon that night, and there was like seven wolves that they like, were at the zoo, and they were just howling so loud, and it was just like such a like touching moment to hear that, you know, like yeah. them all like kind of call each other and just like spirit like talk to each other i don't know it's super yeah. rad and i just got super amped on wolves that like i got a sick ass tattoo like from like my side I got like a full wolf pack tattoo you damn, know damn that's rad so yeah i'm all about the wolves that's dope dude <laughs> thanks man yeah my my first best friend in life was a uh, a half husky half wolf no like, way yeah she was the dopest dog dude oh, so like, jealous yeah i've always was... wanted it to have like a husky slash wolf dog before because yeah. like my friend actually has one back in Canada and it's such a beautiful dog. Oh yeah. They're, They're so loyal too. Yeah. Dude. It's gnarly. And like when I was at that zoo, damn. It's when all good. I, when Go I was at that zoo actually, uh, I ended up uh, like hanging out with this one wolf that was like her name was Vonda, mm -hmm. and she, uh, she, like, I was allowed in the cage with her. That was the what? Only, that, was, that was the only wolf you were allowed. And she, I don't know, me and her like kind of clicked, and she like jumped on me and was like licking my face. Wow. And was just so down, and I don't know. Damn. From that moment, it just kind of sparked me on like yeah. wolves that I just love them. You know, like they got just, you hyped. Yeah, they're just so. Sick. They're very special animals though, because I mean, humans in general, we we really like dogs. You know, yeah. man's best friend, but a wolf, it's like. It's on another level, dude. Completely different level, especially yeah. like they can sense if like you're spooked at all, you know, like they're just like, oh, like, you're you know, scared. they're hesitant. Yeah, they can, and they, you know, their hair goes up. So there's a few wolves that like I went to try and go and pet as well, the other ones, and they, they weren't, weren't even as, feeling Yeah, it. they weren't as friendly as Vonda was. Yeah. So it was super sick when I like had that experience. I was like, fuck, wolves are the best, you know? Yeah. No, dude, they are though, dude. They're just so cool to like. I don't know, they're just so It's like rad. a super dog. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nice, super rad though, I was hyped. Oh, I set up a new complete at least once a month just because 
I like having like a fresh setup, you know? Yeah. I like having that crisp pop because it's just easier to do your tricks and it, obviously like if I didn't have the luxury that I have to be able to get that, yeah. I wouldn't do it. But now, at, now that I am in the position that I'm in, you know, I always try and skate something fresh and always hook up the younger generation with all my old stuff, you know? That's rad. Like yesterday I went out and skated with a, a bunch of kids in Compton like a, uh, at like a boys and girls club and I ended up like hooking them up with like a bunch of my old boards like trucks and wheels and hooked them up with a bunch of clothes and just like shoes I don't know I just hooked them up you know that's just trying to that's give dope. back to whenever I can you know you got to man that's part of life you know yeah it is it's just so sick to be able to do that you know like it really is like I always like had friends that would always help me out back in the day and for like me to be in that position to help them like yeah you know i like really like to give back in any way i can especially helping out people who like you know they less really fortunate. need it yeah, yeah. You're less fortunate you know it's really sick i have no problem giving people stuff who like really need it yeah dude it's just yeah i don't even think twice sometimes like i'll just give them my whole complete at the spot if like i see a kid that's like has a really bad board you know it's just i don't trash. like when people ask though yeah like, what, you know like when they're like always nagging you at a spot to like give them something it's like no like because then it kind of kills the fun in it yeah you know like what i mean yeah it's like killing my buzz like killing the vibe you know like yeah if i feel like you you want something i'll i'll hook it up you know yeah. damn red red avalanche matching the ledge that we're about to skate matrix car yeah <laughs> it's matching the ledge too Sick. perfect color damn almost set up i just got to tighten up the trucks real quick and put on some stickers and i'm good to yeah. go do you skate a lot of contests uh i do sometimes i mean this year i've been skating a lot of contests more than usual but yeah it's just sometimes hard to get into those elite ones like street league and do tours yeah you ones. gotta like do good at the other ones yeah and like yeah. you know if they give you a chance once and you kind of blow it it's like that's kind of it they don't want to invite you back mm -hmm. so I had like a chance to be in like do tour uh, two years ago, and I, I think the whole time I skated, I didn't land one trick in the whole ride. <laughs> so like I haven't been able to get invited back to that. But we were actually invited this last year to do tour for the team challenge with Blind. Yeah. And then uh, we actually all did really well, and we ended up winning. You guys won it. Yeah. yeah, yeah That's so a. I was talking because that was like right after me and Romar got back from Woodward. Oh yeah, so, that's right. Yeah, yeah you so, guys went out there for a while. And, and then, and then he was DJ. Yeah, dude, next year for sure, dude, man. I'm it's down. so much fun. Yeah, I actually got offered to go there uh, by one of the employees, but I, I was a little too busy. I couldn't end up. Summer's it. tough, dude. Like Mickey it was is. supposed to go with us too, but he was too busy also. Oh, so he didn't go. He couldn't make oh, it. Yeah. Man. Damn, that's just how it is though, you yeah. know, summertime's gnarly for you guys. That's Sweet. why when I can skate with you guys during the summer, I'm hyped, but I totally understand how yeah. busy you guys are, dude. Totally, yeah. I mean, I was gone almost the whole summer. Yeah. I, I was back in Canada filming for that Red Bull part. Yeah. And I was just back and just, I went to Europe for three weeks. Yeah. I went like to five or six different countries in like three weeks. Damn. I went to, on like a blind slash dwindle tour. And right after that, I went to Copenhagen Pro. Oh, sick. It's really fun. That contest is always awesome, huh? Dude, it was insane. It man. seems like it, cause the courses are always really unique too, you know? Yeah, and like, you, this year they went to like a bunch of different street spots. I think they do it every year actually, but we went to like a bunch of different street spots and like we would bike around the city. No and way. Dude, it was honestly so much fun. Like that's a contest I'm gonna go to. No matter what. Year, no yeah. Damn, that complete looks buttery. I'm psyched, man. It's looking really I like good. the colors, how it's like kind of matches the base plate a little bit. Yeah. It just goes. Same tones. I'm actually working on a new wheel within the next few weeks too. So hopefully get another one. Maybe I can match it to this color and it'll come out around the same time. That'd be dope. Yeah, it'd be a nice little Christmas complete. <laughs> Serious, dude. Stoke though. Super sick whenever like your sponsors like include you into like designing like a wheel or product development. Yeah, you know, like anything that you can help with. Like I always like interacting and being proactive with my sponsors. It's just a good look and it shows to them that like you know you truly care and like you want to kind of move forward with that company you know yeah no it's it totally not everyone does. is like hitting them up asking to go into meetings and hanging out and just going into like the distribution and hanging out and talking you know hardware left then it's sticker time yep <laughs> wow 
one more. Can't wait to skate these ledges actually after. You got a little line for this little setup. That'd be tight. Yeah, throw the it. Kids in are always room. appreciative of that. Yeah, might as well, you know. Mad love. Thanks for watching. Nigel's Alexander's channel, you know. <laughs> Mad respect. Oh. Oh. Before the stickers go on, gotta get that shot. That's my setup. Where do you put yours? I usually throw this Red Bull one just like right above the front, right under the, the front truck. Yeah. Just, I don't know, looks good there, it makes sense. I always kind of switch it up depending on the graphic, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I'll throw it on the nose or something, but I just try to like see the graphic as much as possible. Yeah, like go around the main part of the graphic. Yeah, like you can still kind of see the eyes Yeah. in between, but. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? You gotta do, bro. You gotta have that, those sponsors, product placement, you know? Keep them happy. Yeah. That's super important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're sick, bro. I'm psyched. So tight, though. a lot of traffic coming through here today. It is. I was surprised. Normally I thought this is pretty chill. Yeah, usually like no one comes over here so I can always just, just keep to myself and skate these ledges. I've come here a few times just solo and have fun on them a little bit. Don't end up staying very long, but it's just fun. Yeah, get a couple tricks. We should have went to OC Ramps today, dude. We could have done something. I've never there. been there before. Really? Mm -mm. It's down the street, man. You gonna go to, go to the ramp Ramptober this Saturday? Uh, you should. I don't know. Maybe. It's, it's actually, that sounds fun. It's eighties themed, dude. No way. Yeah, you just dress up like eighties costume and like you get some money for that. And it's like a best trick and That's all this. That's so stuff. rad. It's gonna be pretty sick, man. That you sounds should roll cool. Roll out if you're not doing anything. Yeah. Right. What's my package? My package is actually a boxers company that I ride for. It's oh no way! Yeah, it's based out of Canada, and uh, they actually kind of got it through Red Bull. It's a good friend of like uh, my old rep from Red Bull. His name's uh, Des Price. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's just a cool dude, and just wanted to hook me up and kind of send me some boxers. And the reason why I like them so much too is because they have like the keyhole yeah. for your like your pouch. It's pretty tight. Damn, you know? that's dope. Yeah, they're actually like the comfiest. I have a bunch at the house. I'll have to give you some. Cool. They're like they're really cool dudes over there too. So I always like supporting people that like to support me and that you know respect. Dope people. Yeah, you know, like treat others how you want to be treated. At that's the, end the truth, of the day, dude. You know? The golden it's, rule, man. Yeah, it's really rad. Like when. You know, he hit me up and was like, dude, we want you on the team. Was, I was actually the only skater on the team, and then I ended up getting Manny Santiago on, too, so it's like only me and him right now. Oh, man, he's the man. Yeah, he's I want to go skate rad. the skate anchor soon. I want to go there, too, man. You've never been there? No, it looks so much fun. should try and cruise next week when oh, he gets yeah, back. Let's do it. Yeah, there's a sticker job. I feel like I'm missing a few. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone sees that. That looks tight. Yeah, man, stoked. Ledge. I gotta tighten up these trucks a little bit and then uh, let's try and get a line or something for this little edit. Sounds good. Thanks for watching my setup. Ooh, thanks again, Nigel. For sure. Ooh.